Hi there. So in this video, we're going to be looking at a method to transform multiple columns all at once inside of M inside of Power Query. My name is Brian Grant. I'm here with CSG Pro. Let's get into it, shall we? I'm going to pop over here to Power BI. I'm going to go to Edit Queries, and let's look at the data that we've got. So uh, what we're going to try and solve is a problem like this, uh, wherein right now we've got uh, this table right here. And uh, let's assume we've got like a coffee shop or something like that, or a, or a chain of coffee shops. And for each one of our stores, uh, you know, uh, once a month, we, we do like sort of a, a, a user experience kind of a test thing where we track, you know, what was the store temperature when it opened, what was the cleaning score, what was the temperature at noon, what was the cleaning score at noon, uh, what was the temperature at closing, and what was the cleanliness score at closing. Okay, that's great. Uh, the issue is that the, the store temperature values are all in Fahrenheit. And uh, let's say we have to convert these to Celsius. Well, uh, you know, one way we could do this is, uh, you know, create uh, three new custom columns, delete these columns, then rename the custom columns, but that's really clunky. Um, if you've seen it before, there, there is a trick that you could do, and I'll show you this sort of right now, where like, let's, uh, we'll, we'll click on this door temperature, this door temperature, and this door temperature, our three temperatures that we need to convert. We'll right click, and we'll go to transform, and we'll go to, we'll just, we'll pick something, doesn't really matter which one, we'll pick a, a, a conversion there, or not a conversion, but a function. And uh, we've taken the absolute value of all of these, but what we could do is we could go in here one by one, and here where it says number.absolute, we could use our conversion function that we defined elsewhere, and that'll actually work. Uh, in fact, I'll just do that right now, just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's see fn convert and we'll take that and copy it and ba 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 paste it and yeah paste it and suddenly we've converted it to Celsius in a single step. And that's really nice, but we did have to sort of go through one by one and do all of those conversions. If there was only three columns, that's a perfectly good way to work. But if there's like a hundred of these things, boy, that's going to be a pain in the butt. So uh, we're, we're trying to wonder if there's a better way to do it, and obviously there is. Uh, before I go much further, let's take a look at this uh, conversion function that I kind of jumped ahead to. If we pop over here, we've defined a function called fn convert, uh, where what we do is uh, for whatever value it gets passed, for each value that it gets passed, we take that value, we subtract 32, and we multiply it by 5 divided by 9. That's how you convert um, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So that's the conversion function that we're going to use. So let's, uh, let's get rid of this, and um, we are going to do this in a slightly better way. And actually, before I get rid of it, let me show you one thing, just because it's going to become meaningful in a second. If we look at the way that this function is, or I guess say this line of code is set up, what you end up with, do 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 sort of add these line breaks here, get some good white space to make this easier to read. What you'll see is uh, there's this function called table.transformcolumns, that's what we called. We said, okay, we're going to transform some columns. Okay, what table are you going to use? We're going to use the previous steps table. Oh, cool. Okay, so what are, you know, what are the transformations you're going to make? And what you see is the, the second argument is all the transformations we're going to make. And each transformation is its own little list that has um, both the name of the column to change, what function you want to apply to each one of the items in that column, and what the resulting data type is going to be, right? So if we can get a, a list of names of the columns that we want to change, and use M to sort of fill in the, uh, the function that we want and the type that we want, we'll be good to go. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So uh, let's go ahead and hit X right now. Just get rid of that. So uh, first we want to make sure that we've got our uh, function ready here, our conversion function. We've got that. Perfect. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is sort of a dummy step, where we're going to click on the, the columns that we want to change, we want to convert. Uh, that's the open store temperature, the noon store temperature, and the closing store temperature, right? And we're going to right click on them, and we're just going to pick uh, remove columns. We could actually do remove columns, remove other columns. It doesn't really matter which one. We actually don't want to remove columns. What we want is a list of all of these columns, just sort of... Uh, ready for us to copy paste. So I'm going to click on remove other columns. I don't want that step. What I want is this list right here. Here's a list of all the columns that we want to transform. So I'm going to uh, click on this. I'm going to control C to copy it. And now I'm going to hit the X to get rid of that. We actually don't want that, right? We just wanted that list. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick any column. It doesn't matter which one, right? I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to pick something. doesn't matter what. Let's do uppercase. That's a fun one. 
So uh, what I wanted to do is basically I wanted to write this step where we've got our table dot transform columns, and we've got everything ready correct except for the uh, the list that we want to uh, use. So right now the list is wrong. The list is wrong. It's actually only got one item in it, and it's converting the store column, and it's doing a text dot upper of that store column, and it's returning text. Now that's not what we want. We want to convert each one of these. Um, store temperature columns and we're going to use the function convert and the type number. So let's, uh, we're just going to select this stuff, we're going to hit delete. I'm going to do control V to paste that list I got a second ago. Okay cool, so we've got our list, all we have to do is make a new version of this list where uh, each item doesn't just have the name, it's got a new list that has the name, the function, and the type. So what we'll do is a list.transform so we're going to transform the list. What list are we going to transform? One, two, three, four. This one right here. Okay, that part's easy. So we're going to do a comma. And we're going to say, okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, what do you want to do for each item in that list? Well, for each item in that list, what I want to do is we're going to create a new list. And the first item of that new list is going to be just whatever the text was before, underscore. You know, whatever was in there before. The second item is going to be the function we want to use. And the function we want to use is fn convert, right? And the third item is the type we want to use. And we're going to do a uh, number dot type, being careful to be case sensitive, right? And so now what we're going to do, let's see, let's go ahead and shift enter, close parentheses. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit enter in a second, and uh, it's going to take this list right here, make a new version of it where we've got, um, for each column that we want, we have a little list that has the column name, function, number type, the second column name, function, number type, the third column name, function column type. And that's going to be exactly what we want. So when we hit enter, assuming I haven't uh, messed something up, we should get the calculation. Oh, I did mess something up. I need to close this out. Shift enter, close parentheses. So I closed out my list. I didn't close out my table that transformed columns. Now when I hit enter, we have the uh, measurement in degrees Celsius, right? So the last thing I got to do is I got to head over here. I'm going to right click, change this to uh, change, change from Fahrenheit to Celsius and hit enter, and just like that, I am done. Now, uh, if you don't want to actually have a separate function out here um, that you call sort of by name, it's actually pretty simple. Like if you don't want to go through all that hullabaloo, you could just take this uh, text right here, Control C, copy it, pop back over here, and rather than uh, referring to it by name, you could just write your own function right in there, and it'll work just fine. It's a little confusing because you have this each, and then you've also got another each, and if you don't know what that means, well, that might be confusing. Uh, but you don't really actually have to know how it works. All you have to know is that it does work. And when I hit enter, hey, sure enough, it works. Okay, uh, well, I hope that saves you some time in your uh, data transformation tr uh, sort of uh, uh, adventures. Uh, and I guess I will see you next time.